What is up YouTube? Gina here back at it again and in this video I will be showing you how to purchase BNB in Binance and then transfer it to your MetaMask, swap it to Coinery Token and then finally send that Coinery Token to your Dragonary account wallet. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, please do not forget to click that like and that subscribe button. I will be uploading the gameplay of Dragonary very, very soon. We have an all access to that game before it hits the market and it goes open to the public. So watch out for that. Click on that bell and set it to all that way. When that video gets uploaded, you will be notified. Okay, so without further ado, guys, let's get it on intro. Alright guys, so this is the homepage of Binance. So once you have logged in with your account, this is the first thing that you will see. Now let's go to the Buy Crypto. You can purchase by credit card, but again, uh, just would like to let you know that not all credit cards allow you or approves purchases of crypto tokens. I wish I could tell you the, the credit card company that I have that's not letting me, but I would leave, leave it all up to you, but not every credit card company is declining that. Some will. Now, we will be focusing on the P2P trading, okay? So let's click on P2P. Now, once you're here, you just have to make sure that you are on the P2P and you're on the buy mode, okay? So we are going to be purchasing BNB, so you have to click on that and then choose whatever fiat currency you will be using. So say for example, first example would be USD if you're somewhere in the United States or anywhere that's using the dollar. You can click on USD, click on all payments and it will show you all the available payment methods that you could use. Now for people in the Philippines, let me scroll to PHP and the payment methods will change to all the available banks or paymaya or gcash i think paypal is not oh, it's not included sorry so paymaya and the banks and gcash you can search and you could select that and it's going to filter the payments according to the ones that you selected so i would strongly suggest that if you are going to select the the sellers look for the one that has that check the gold check those are the trusted sellers I mean it's secure Binance is secure but uh, you know I would like to spare the hassle of like delays and everything for from from other non trusted sellers okay so let's just say for example we're gonna be purchasing let's say just for for this video let's say 10,000 10,000 so the for this seller the minimum amount is 10,000 the maximum amount is 22,442.11 and that's the available BNBs that that person has. So let's click on buy BNB. Okay. Now this is the screen that you're going to be seeing. And it's going to give you a time limit. Now you can put here the peso amount or the money amount that you would like to purchase. Say for example, 15,000. And it's going to show you the amount of BNB. So I can't click on buy now because... I'm not really going to select or buy from this seller, but if you click buy now, what you can expect is the um, the chat box right here. So you can chat with the seller, make sure that the, the seller is online. And then on the left side, you have a button that says transferred payment or something like that. So when you have already transferred your payment, you could take a screenshot of that transaction send it to the seller and then click on the transferred payment okay so after the seller has already received your payment they are going to transfer the tokens that you purchased from them and just in case you did not receive or anything like that you can contact support and uh, they will be the ones who will assist you for your transaction okay so Assuming that you are already done with your purchase of BNB, what you need to do next is you just have to go to Fiat and Spot from the wallet here. 
So click wallet, fiat, and spot. Because you have two things there. P2P, wallet, and then the fiat and spot. So once you purchase the token on the P2P, what's going to happen is the tokens that you purchased will stay on your wallet from in, in that P2P. So you have to transfer that to fiat and spot for you to be able to trade or swap or transfer that over to other wallets. So here's how to transfer that. So you just have to click on transfer. Click this. Click P2P and then click on two to fiat and spot. Okay. And then choose whatever coin you want to transfer to your fiat and spot wallet. And then choose the amount. You can click max if you would like to transfer all of the balance for that certain or specific token. And then just click on confirm if you're done. Okay. Now, once you already have that token in your fiat and spot wallet, you could transfer it to other wallets like MetaMask already. So now how do we do that? So we have MetaMask. Say for example, this is your MetaMask. You just have to click on this one. Make sure that you are on the Binance Smart Chain net, uh, main net and then click on this. Click on withdraw. Select the coin. Let's say, for example, of course, we're, we're doing BNB. So select BNB and then paste the address of your MetaMask here. Okay. Please make sure that it is BSC or Binance Smart Chain, BEP20, and not any other network. So don't select any other network. It's going to be automatic, but just to make sure, always check it just to make sure that you have the correct network set up here. Okay. Now you can. Put in the amount that you want to transfer and then after you've put in the amount, you can click on confirm. Now when you click on confirm, it's gonna be like traveling and we'll have um, a few confirmations. It's not instantaneous so just give it a minute or two to process everything. And once it has been completed, it will say completed like the ones right here. Okay. And then. For you to be able to check it, you just have to click on your MetaMask and then this will change. Okay? So it will reflect the changes and the BNB that BNB token that you received in your MetaMask. Now, for you to be able to swap it to CYT, it's fairly simple. You just have to click on swap. So you have BNB selected here. And then put the cert for put the, the amount of BNB that you would like to swap and select which token you would like to swap it to. Okay, so in this case, CYT. Okay. Now, after you've already done or you're already done with that, so you just have say for let's just say let's just put a number there. So you just have to put your BNB amount there. Select the CYT token. And then take note of the gas fees. Let's go back. Swap. BNB put a certain amount. And then um, CYT. And then just have to put in the gas number. And then swap. Okay. Now once you already swapped it. It will have that amount of tokens here in your CYT. Okay. Okay. So for you to be able to see this CYT. Say, let, let's go ahead and remove it first. Hide it, hide it. So initially, you don't have the CYT or the coinery token there. You just have to click on add token and then paste the symbol or the contract address. So this is the contract address of coinery. I will also put it in the description of this video. That way you will be able to get it. So click on next and then add tokens. So it's going to show up there. Okay. That way, you will be able to see if you were successful in swapping your BNB going to CYT. Okay? So, now the last part of this one would be transferring it over to your Dragonary account wallet. So, you just have to go to Dragonary.com. Now, this is my personal wallet. Okay? So, just... I would just like to use it as an example on where you can find your wallet address. So you just have to log in, click on the balance here, and 
click on click to copy address okay so once you click on the click to copy address go to metamask and then send put your account wallet there change this to cyt because you're all you're already sending the cyt to your wallet and then the gas fees so this one the gas fees put in the amount of cyt's that you will be transferring click max if you're going to be transferring all the cyt's that your metamask um, has and then click on next so just again it's not instantaneous it depends on the gas uh, allowance or the gas fee that you are uh, giving it so once everything is completed your coinery token should reflect here okay so that is the complete process of purchasing BNB and then transferring BNB to your MetaMask swapping that coin that BNB to coinery and then sending it to your Dragonary account wallet. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you did, please do not forget to click that like and subscribe button. Click the bell button as well so you will be updated on the next videos that we will be uploading. So until then, I'll see you and stay safe.